Hi, my name is Tony Selzo. Welcome to The Buzz, Indiana's underground business voice. I've got Eric Goldsmith with the Goldsmith Group in the studio today. The Goldsmith Group, your e-scrappers. Yes. And I said it wrong again because I could tell by the look. Say, correct uh, me. Well, e-cyclers, uh, you know, to call us something, you know, we're recyclers. We're people who pay attention to what's in the electronics that's reusable. Okay. That's the best way to recycle. This okay. next level is making sure that the precious metals and other materials are come out of it for reuse. So let's drill down. The, now you concentrate on electrical appliances or computers for electronics, electric anything with a cord or a battery. Now, why is it important that we recycle that? Well, because of the lead, mercury, arsenic, and other hazardous materials inside electronics and the halogenated bromines inside the plastic that make it not healthy to throw it in our landfills or to incinerate it. And it's got value to recycle. Okay. So let's re reuse it first, recycle it second, and keep the toxins out of our now, a part of your recycling, you actually find a secondary market for a lot of these products. Correct. Now, how does that work? Well, we've got almost 40 years of experience looking at these old assets of corporations from all over the United States mm -hmm. that have brought their material to us, mostly, of course, Midwest and Indianapolis companies. And as the material comes into our facility, we look at the assets for reuse first, and then recycling second. Okay. So we take the assets that we believe are resellable or know are resellable and put them in one area and okay. we go through the process of researching it or testing it and cleaning it and reselling it and then and stocking it to resell that is. And then we also take the other stuff for recycling and put it in other areas and separate it according to value or toxicity or other types of issues. Now, that really brings a wider range of the type of companies you deal with on a consistent basis. I mean, Correct. you're actually a very valuable partner to an organization like maybe the size of Lilly. Correct. And you could be a very valuable partner to somebody like me who is, who is an entrepreneur trying to build a growing business and doesn't want to have to sp spend the premium that it that it that it costs to have Dell build me a computer. Correct. So, what are the organizations that you strategically have seen bring you more referrals or see the opportunities? What is the channel you try to penetrate? Well, lately we've had two really nice companies come on board. Uh -huh. um, they were in the banking and the hospital medical arena, and the referrals one came through Rainmakers, I do believe, and the other one came through our recycling community. Okay. And that just is a perfect hit, you know. These are organizations that are worried about data destruction, which we can handle. They're worried about the environment, and they've got assets that they've replaced probably earlier than they needed to from our business level, sure. we can run our business on a high NP3 or low NP4. Sure. They need the cutting edge. So they need something bleeding edge. You find another market from that Correct. for that, for that old equipment. Correct. So there's win-win on three different levels there. You're recycling it, you're finding a new market for the product that they're they're exchanging, yeah. and you got a customer on it. And hopefully the customer believes when they bought the material from us on the that end of it that they save money and sure. they're gonna sure. like that as well. I, I buy a PC from you, what would normally cost me twelve hundred dollars, I get it for three or four, and that's a great right. deal for me. So um, so one of the things that I would think one of the organizations that find that opportunity a lot are the network admin companies, the companies that are that are in there analyzing people's infrastructure and providing different solutions to make Correct. that happen. Now, is it fair to say they, that most of those kind of companies look first at going new? Oh, yeah. And so you are really fighting to kind of get in and be thought of as a legitimate channel there, right? Most organizations, once they find out that one, that we're here, mm -hmm. two, that we get good equipment and we give it a warranty, mm -hmm. you know, they feel much more comfortable. And then they hear someone like you or someone else say, hey, I've had a couple pieces of equipment from Goldsmith that works fine. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think one of the things that, that it's happening, too, is that because technology has advanced so fast, I can pick up a PC that's two two years old, and for using it for document uh, creation and for running the internet, it's just it's just all the equipment we yeah, ever need. Yeah, correct. And you know, we also when we are refurbishing our equipment, we put. Uh, the latest version of that current operating system you want with all the updates. Okay. We put in antivirus and all those other things. So that way when you walk out with our machine, it's working solid and we give it a 90 day warranty. So no Super. problem. Now, um, you've got a couple different sites that you remarket those products through. What are those sites called? Uh, we have eScrap Inc., which is our electronic recycling side of the business. Okay. And we have usedprinters.com, which of course is not just used printers because we've got more than used printers. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a used printers 
uh, store on eBay okay. where we sell on auction as well as stuff out of the store. Awesome. So really, when, um, now you have a slightly different mission too that, that you're unable to execute because I know your picture on the uh, on the Rainmaker um, name platform is you hugging a tree. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, and Someone so, caught that. Yeah, I did. I did. I thought that was funny. So now tell me a little bit more about that and how you execute that mission at Goldsmith. Well, you know, my father and my grandfather before me have been recycling, so it's just been a natural progression for me to fall into that. I chose to come back from the West Coast to work for my father because of the environmental impact that he was doing. Um, our industry is continuously upgrading what we're doing. As a matter of fact, uh, my father guided me to go ahead and participate in the in Indiana Recycling Coalition's e-scrap action mm -hmm. project, sure. which was a big project from the Indiana Recycling Coalition to educate Hoosiers about the importance of electronic recycling. I sat on uh, a a group that worked with the state on coming up with the first legislation that had to do with registering electronic recyclers. Mm -hmm. We're now registered as an electronic recycler at the state level. Wow. And I've got a call today saying that they want to talk about creating legislation, keeping this material out of the landfill. So, you know, I follow it that way. And of course, I spend time out in the environment. I want to protect my children or my daughter and all sure. of our children from. You know, one of the reasons I, I wanted you to talk about that, because I really think uh, a lot of times our members don't really understand who they're rubbing elbows with when they talk to other members. And I really appreciate everything you're doing for our environment. Oh, thank you. Appreciate everything your company's doing for our environment. If you're looking for a different solution for your technology needs, talk to Eric. I always, he's always my first call to say, hey, is there something I could use to get this done? Or I've got a client, you know, that wants to save some money. You know, if you're starting a new business, it's sure that's definitely one of those expenses that you're going to run into. We can save you money and give you a good long warranty. If you're in the, if you're in the business of, um, uh, putting those kind of systems in, like whether it's on the server side or network admin side, you also uh, legitimately ought to look at Eric's company as a, as a channel or an alternative channel to help save your customers some money. Yeah, and we just got in through uh, a fellow Rainmaker, Mac. He just had some older, not older, but fairly new servers that he no longer is using. So, you know, servers, printers, PCs, you name it, we've got it. Super. Appreciate you. You've been Thanks, buzzed. Tony. Thanks, Always. man.